This is Mr. Van Kaplan. Today we're going to learn how to program your VEX tumbler that you have built or you're still in the process of building. Uh, we're going to learn how to program it using Robot C. First thing you need to do, you want to open a new file. Make sure by clicking on Robot Platform Type, make sure you're in the natural language PLTW. And then if you just click this plus sign on natural language, these are the commands we're going to use. Okay, earlier we learned how to write pseudocode, so we're going to do that. You want to do a backslash and an asterisk. And let's name this Vex Tumblr. Put your name here, even though you worked in partners, each one of you needs to do this program just for the practice. Okay, and then we're going to tell kind of what's going to go on. The Tumblr. We'll move forward at a speed of 75 for 15 seconds. The tumbler will stop and wait for 5 seconds. The tumbler We'll go in reverse at a speed of 50 for 15 seconds. Okay? And to end this, you need to put your asterisk and a backslash. Okay? And you should see your task main should turn back to red. Make sure you have these brackets here as you're going to start programming. Okay? The next thing we want to do, we need to set up our robots. Okay? We don't have any sensors as of yet, so we're going to use the movement and the weights. Okay? Eventually, later, we may go back and add some buttons and things like that. And when you get in here to your actual programming task main, remember, space it out well. Usually, once you put the first one in, you can do a copy and paste and that works really well. Okay, so we want to set up our robot. Okay, we don't have any digital sensors. We do have motors. Okay, port 1 and 10 only work with a two wire motor, and we don't want to use that. That would just, as soon as we turn the program on, it would, you know, that motor would just start running. So we're going to use 2, 4, 6, and eight. On two, I want you to make it your left front. Okay, and it's a three wire motor. Four, I want you to make it your right front. Again, it's a three wire motor. Six, I want you to make it your left re or left rear. and eight, your right rear. These are your different motors. Okay, this reversed. This is very important when we get into um, programming and actually doing it. One of these motors is gonna have to be reversed. Okay, one on each one because think about how they're orientated. They're facing each other at some point so the axle can extend out. So some of these motors are actually the way you bolted them in, they're upside down. Okay, and what we'll do when I get back and we actually download the program and run it, we'll come in here and adjust it. Okay? So we want to hit apply here. Then okay. And you can see up here, this is a good thing about Robot C, it generates that code. Port 2 is left front. Port 4 is right front. Port 6 is the left rear. Port 8 is the right rear. Okay? And we may get in here and add a little. We make the four motors run sometimes, then sometimes we'll just make two run and see what happens. Okay? See how that affects our speed and torque. First thing we want to do, we want this robot to move. So movement. Start motor port. Okay, and I'm just going to copy and paste this. 
copy, paste, paste, paste. Okay, these are going to be our different motors. So when we're going forward, we have port 2. It shows up. You have to actually click on it and hit enter. You can't just double click it. Okay, we set a speed of 75. Port 4. No, you can't click it actually. My fault. 75. Port 6. And port 8. Okay, let's change that speed to 75, 75, okay, and we said we want it to go forward for 15 seconds, so we'll go out in the hallway. You don't want to use milliseconds, you want to use regular seconds, okay, and I like to have an extra block there, let's put 15 seconds, okay. So what's going to happen right now, <coughs> all four motors are spinning, it's going to go for 15 seconds. Eventually we're going to have to come in here and reverse some of these motors after we do a little test run. Uh, you could also change the ones that are spinning the wrong way to negative 75 as well. Um, but I like to go in there and reverse the motors that way all your speeds are positive when you're going forward. I think that just looks better and is a, a good practice. Okay. So we've got our motors powered at 75 speed for 15 seconds. Next, we have to stop those motors. Okay. So again, do the stop. Okay, we're going to copy and paste that several times. Okay, we've got four motors running, so we've got to stop four motors. Okay. Again, our ports are two, four, whoops, six, and eight. Okay. Uh, next thing we want to do, let's look up here. The tumbler will stop and wait for five seconds. So we're going to stop those. We need to put a wait time in. I'm just going to copy this one. Good thing about Robot C, very user friendly. Uh, we have 15 seconds. We don't want that. We want it to be five seconds. Okay. And then we said it's going to go in reverse at a speed of 50 for 15 seconds. So watch this. Okay, we're going to copy all this. This line of code. Paste it. Okay, we set a 50 speed and reverse, so we need to change that to negative 50 on each one. Negative 50. Negative 50. Oops. Negative 50 for 15 seconds, so we can keep that time. Okay, and that's our program to go forwards and then backwards. Okay, uh, looks like we got that in there pretty good. Let's add another little command. Oops. Let's make the back wheel six and eight. And we're going to copy just the back wheel six and eight. I've done that wrong. Sorry. We got to stop these motors first. So go back. We need to copy and paste port two, four, six, eight. Make sure they are stopped because it would just run for 15 seconds and do nothing, or it'd keep running. We haven't stopped it. Stop the motors. Okay. Let's put a wait time in there. Uh, eight seconds. Okay, now we're going to start motor 6 and 8, like it's a real world drive car. Copy those. Paste. I want you to make it 127 maximum speed. Four. 
five seconds. And then, of course, lastly, we've got a stop, motor six and eight. So copy that, stop motor six and eight, paste, and that looks pretty good, okay? Uh, make sure you compile your program. We won't download it. That'll tell us if there's anything wrong. Eh. Before we do that, let's save it. File, save as, save this to your desktop, and just name it Tumblr Program. I'm going to put mine in my robot C file. I think you have that on your desktop as well. Which is, if you do, go ahead and save it there. Okay, Tumblr program, save. And let's see what happens. Okay, let's compile it now. I think it says something's missing. Check that weight out. I don't think you have to. It's automatically built in. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> okay, make sure you save it. And then let's compile the program. Everything looks good. Um, so you've done this basic program. While you've got time, go in there and write your own and just in a separate file and save it. Maybe it's Tumblr program to use the different motors, the just the speeds and things like that. Have the front wheels running only, have the back wheels running. Um, so you kind of, kind of see just what happens, okay? And we will download this into your Cortex and run it, and we will figure out which motors we need to reverse at another point. Okay, make sure you save. I made some changes there. I always want to click save. And then after that, you can close this program out. And you can start a new one. Just get in there and practice, okay? Set up those motors, two, four, six, and eight, and just uh, practice writing code and different speeds, different wait times, have different motors running at the same time and just kind of get some practice writing code. And we will download it and run your tumblers pretty soon. Thank you.